Have you ever pondered how our expectations shape our performance? We often underestimate the power of this subtle yet compelling force. Expectations, like unseen puppeteers, frequently dictate the outcomes of countless situations in our lives. They can spur us on to reach the stars or clip our wings, grounding us in mediocrity. Now, let's introduce the concept of self-fulfilling prophecy, where our beliefs and expectations influence our actions in a way that makes those predictions become reality. This brings us to an interesting experiment conducted by Rosenthal and Jacobson. In the 1960s, psychologists Robert Rosenthal and Lenore Jacobson conducted a remarkable experiment. With curiosity peaked and a desire to delve into the mysteries of human behavior, they embarked on an exploration of expectations and their impact on performance. They set the stage in an elementary school where they informed teachers that certain students, whom they termed as intellectual bloomers, were poised for a significant spurt in academic growth. Here's the intriguing part. These bloomers were chosen completely at random, their selection bearing no relation to their actual intellectual capabilities. Intriguingly, the teachers, unaware of this random selection, began to treat these students differently. They offered them more encouragement, provided them with more opportunities to answer questions, and gave them more personalized feedback. It was as if their expectation of these students' potential influenced their behavior towards them. The results of this experiment were nothing short of astonishing. So, what happened to these so-called bloomers, you may ask? The results of Rosenthal and Jacobson's experiment were quite intriguing. The children who had been randomly labeled as bloomers did indeed bloom. They showed significant improvement in their academic performance over the course of the academic year, outpacing their peers in every subject. This wasn't because these children were inherently gifted. No, it was because their teachers believed they were. This belief, this expectation, subtly influenced the teacher's behavior. They gave these students more time, more attention, and more feedback. They challenged them more, and in turn, these students rose to the occasion. The power of expectations is a force to be reckoned with. It's the driving force behind the self-fulfilling prophecy. If you believe someone is capable of great things, they are more likely to achieve them. Not because of any innate ability, but because your belief spurs them on, encourages them, pushes them to strive harder and reach higher. This experiment is not just about education, it's about life. It's about how our beliefs and expectations can shape the world around us. It's about how we can influence outcomes, not through direct intervention, but through our attitudes and expectations. The implications of this experiment are profound, shedding light on how our expectations can shape reality. So the next time you expect something, remember, it might just turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy.